Hi, my name is Charles and I'm one of the maths teachers from the Maxim Workshop. I'm just going to now teach you how to do some math. Hi, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to calculate molecular weight. Now molecular weight is a quantity that's mainly used by physicists and chemists. So um, for this example what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the molecular weight or how to calculate the molecular weight of say H2O which is a basic water molecule. Now, um, if we look at H2O, what we need to first of all do is look at the molecular mass for each. Now this is just basically a measurement of how big the nucleus is for each of these two elements. So in your periodic table, you should find um, the molecular masses for each of these particular um, quantities or elements, I should say. So hydrogen you should find has um, a molecular weight of 1.00794 U and this U is basically just a twelfth of say a carbon 12 atom um, it's just used as the standard kilogram measurement and now when we look at um, oxygen um, we see that oxygen in the periodic table has a molecular mass of 15.9994 U. Again, this U is the 12th of your carbon-12 atom, which is basically used as the standard for kilogram measurements of atoms. Now, um, just to look at molecular weight, um, what we need to identify that it's not an actual weight measurement, it's more of um, a relative um, molecular mass reading because gravity doesn't really play its part on elements or molecules, it's just too small. So what we want to do is find basically measurements that relate to a twelfth of a carbon atom and this U does that for us. So the first thing we need to do is find out the molecular mass of a H2O and then go on to find out the rel relative molecular mass or molecular weight for our um, H2O molecule. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place these values now in a column so that we can actually just add them up. Nine, four. And we have 15.99400. So for this, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to sum my two hydrogen atoms with um, my oxygen atom, given H2O, to find the molecular mass. Damn it. Yeah. And just draw out this, yeah? Oh, okay. Okay, so we have here our two hydrogen atoms and our oxygen atom in terms of their U numbers, i.e. the molecular mass. And what we're going to do, we're going to sum these to find the overall molecular mass of our H2O. Now, we've got 8 here, we've got 9 plus 9, that's 18 plus 4, that's 22. So we put the 2 there. We've got 9 plus 9, that's 18, plus 7, which is um, 25. And we put the 2 there, we've got the 2 plus the 9, which is 11, 1 there, the 1 there, 1 plus um, 9, which is 8, and, sorry, 10, what am I talking about? <laughs> go back, yeah? Okay, and after that, we're carrying the 1, so we've got 1 plus 9, which is just 10, which 
put the zero there, add the one here, and we've got eight decimal point, remember, and we have one. So basically, the molecular mass of H2O is 18.01528U, okay? So now, all we have to do to find the molecular weight, or as it's more commonly known, the relative molecular mass, is just divide or cancel off that U. So, the molecular weight of H2O is just pretty much 18.01528. And that's how to calculate molecular weight.